Okay, so I'm currently in the calendar app of Office 365, and you're going to see that there are a couple of things that I can do. One of the things is straight away from the new at the very top is to create a new calendar event or to email. So it is linked in our email in such a way that you can literally just click on that from calendar and create an email message. I can add a calendar. So if I wanted a secondary calendar that I could put in there, a birthday calendar, a holiday calendar, or I can import calendars from files from the internet or from a directory. So if I needed to see the calendar for some of the rooms at the central office at CES, I could do that. I could add those calendars, and that's actually how those got in there. Um, in addition, I can share my calendar, and I can choose which calendars I choose to share my calendar. Um, and if I click share, it's like who I'd like to share it with. I'd like to share my calendar with you. And if I'm going to share it with Jana, and then once I've shared it with Jana, I have some options. I can let her see all the details so she can see everything that was in my calendar, um, where I am, etc. I can do availability only, so when she sees it, it'll show up as busy or not. Um, I can give her limited details. Um, I can give her editor writes which means she can go in there and edit my calendar or I can delegate my calendar to her. That's often used for like a principal do for a secretary so that the um, secretary can fill out the principal's calendar etc. Uh, in addition to that I can bring up so if I wanted to bring up the instructional technology calendar you can see that I can bring that up as well and that would show up as well or additional other calendars I could bring up and just by checking them, I uncheck them. Um, people who share their calendar with me, I can take a look and see. I could add Ann's calendar in. I can add Kim's calendar in. And they show up in different colors so that we can see, you know, where each of us are during the day or during the week so that we know we need to contact each other. So that's a brief look at calendars. Oh, and then, of course, if I really need the at some point in time, I can always print out my calendar. I can look at my calendar by day. I can look at it by work week. I can look at it by the week. Or I can look at it by the month.